Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Miss Noni. Good morning, my friend. Uh, today, we would like to present about uh, our research journal article for current issue in ELT. Uh, this is, and then my name is Dian Rosdiana, and my friend there is Putri Arinda, and then Fauzia, and then the last Caleb Aditya Harjono. Next. Uh, our research journal from the, the title of our research journal is Chinese EFL Teachers Cognition about the Effectiveness of Genre Pedagogy, a case study. There are the authors of the research journal. There is Lemin T. University of Wollongong, Australia. The second is Amanda Baker, University of Wollongong, Australia. And the last is Hong Ling Chen, University of Wollongong, Australia. Next, Caleb. Okay, this is this research question of this journal. The first is how do Chinese EFL teachers view of effectiveness of SLF genre pedagogy? And the second is, how do Chinese EFL teachers use SFL genre pedagogy to support their students' learning of writing in college English classes? You can next, Chalep. The research purpose to investigate linguistic, linguistic system to Chinese student communicated competence in writing. So next. Okay, I will explain about the author rationale in conducting the study, why the author want to conduct this study, uh, what the reasons of the author itself. So actually, uh, so many reasons uh, why the author want to conduct the study. The first one, uh, from the journal itself, there is an argument need for empirical investigations into effective pedagogical practices to facilitate the development of students' writing for achieving social purposes. So, from the previous study, uh, the research from previous study show there is a need for empirical research to investigations uh, the effectiveness uh, of pedagogical practice to facilitate the development of students' writing in China context. So uh, the researcher wants to conduct the study, want to uh, now wants to investigate uh, about uh, systemic functional linguistic uh, in students' writing skill. Systemic functional linguistic related to the grammar or to analyze uh, the speakers. Uh, whether it is written or a communicative uh, purpose. So that is a systemic functional linguistic. This is the theory of linguistic. And then uh, the second one is a little empirical research has examined the effectiveness of gender pedagogy in the Chinese context. So that's why uh, the author wants to conduct this study because only a little research uh, from the previous journal uh, examined the effectiveness of gender pedagogy in Chinese context. Okay. Uh, and then most of the studies were primarily theoretical, involving only discussions of the potential benefits of various writing pedagogies. So uh, that's why uh, the author wants to examine, wants to involve uh, the effectiveness of systemic functional linguistic to enhance or to enhance students' writing skills in China context. Okay, next. There is a okay. methodology. Yeah. Okay, sorry, Putri. This is the research methodology participant and data collection procedure. The research methodology research design case study. So the 
research approach qualitative and the part the research participant C E teacher with a master de degree and at least five years teaching experience. So next collab. Okay, so how do they collect the data? Here I will explain to you. So they did the observation to the research object. Uh, we can say the participant. So they did the observations and then the interview to see how the comparison. What is the difference between before doing this workshop and then after the workshop was conducted? So there are two steps. So there are pre-workshop observations. This is observation one, and then there are also interview, okay? And then after that, after the workshops were conducted, they also asked them again about how was the result, how was the progress, and how were they feel after the workshop was done, okay? So what is the finding that they found from this study we can see from the first point here that from the perspective of the teacher's curricular knowledge writing received the limited attention in comparison to other skills so writing is not really uh, considered before because their obstacles, because their difficulties in applying it in English class. And then for most teachers, reading was the most essential language skill. So they thought that reading is more important than the writing. This is what the researchers got from their statement. So this the first point here is their statement. And then the second one, from the perspective of subject matter content knowledge, the teachers believe that writing instruction should cover all of the following. So this is their second statement. So they stated and they had the argument that, okay that the writing techniques they have they must have the purposes and then they must have the text structure the language features and then the development of argumentation or ideas so that what they got uh, and they would receive from the participant. This is the third point. All six teachers generally believe that systematic functional linguistic, SFL, gender pedagogy was valuable. So they, they had the opinion that this is good. This is, can be used to support the students learning of writing in the English class and then the achievement for their goals and the future. So once again, they thought that this is good and it could be applied for the future English class because it brings, it has the positive impact in the learning process, okay? And then the last one, the study found that professional training in SF, ASFL 
gender pedagogy had a positive impact on teachers' cognition about writing instruction. So they believe that by applying this way and this method will also bring the benefits and advantages for the teacher's knowledge when they instructing their student in the English writing class. Yep, I think that's what we can say from this presentation. I hope all of the audiences can understand and can get the point from what we have talked again. Thank you for watching. I'm Caleb and then Putri and then Fauzia and then Dian. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.